Hello, I'm Valeria Aoki, an Associate Professor of Dermatology from the University of Sao Paulo, Brazil. And I'd like to thank you, the International Eczema Council, for this opportunity to talk uh, at this prestigious meeting. Uh, we are going to discuss here uh, what is patient education in a topic dermatitis. So before starting the topic, uh, it's very important to define what is therapeutic patient education or TPE. According to the whole definition, TPE helps patients with chronic disease to acquire or maintain the skills they need to manage their life in the best possible way. It is a component of therapeutic measures and it should be patient oriented with shared decision making. And uh, what are the steps that one needs uh, to have a TPE? There's a very good article from Barbara Rowe and collaborators uh, pointing out the main steps of a TPE for atopic dermatitis patients. First of all, uh, in terms of management, TPE should improve the therapeutic adherence, the general health and quality of life. As for organization, it's important that TPE should be addressed to different ages. So for instance, kids below the age of eight, parents are the main public. And uh, for adults, uh, the patient itself could handle the TPE. And it can be individual or group sessions. In terms of assessment, it's very important to have measurements such as biomedical scores, quality of life measures, psychological scores, and a very solid TPE program that can be applied for different uh, realities. And another point that is really relevant is the TPE economic impact, such as hospitalization, working days, and treatment costs. The team uh, should be multidisciplinary and the TPE must be sustainable either through public or private donations. Are there limitations for TPE? Yes. Why? Because it's time consuming. It depends on social and cultural differences. And patients with mental health sometimes cannot uh, participate in TPE sessions. And the second point is, is there evidence of TPE benefit in the a topic dermatitis treatment. A very good review from the Cochrane Library points out that uh, in 2014, uh, that there were nine articles regarding educational interventions for a topic eczema in children. In adults, we have more, but in children and adolescents, it's still limited. So it's important that this educational approach uh, as parent focused. And in this study, uh, they reviewed 2000, uh, more, more than 2000 patients uh, involved. And the conclusions were that there's still limited research evidence about the effect on the educational and psychological interventions. The studies provided a range of interventions, but poorly detailed. And outcome measures varied between the studies. So that's uh, a reality in harmonizing this outcome measures for eczema was really very important to establish a homogeneous concept. So the home initiative pointed out four big domains, which were clinical signs, symptoms, long-term control flares, and quality of life as harmonizing outcome measures for eczema. And I believe that one of the most cited articles in terms of patient education and atopic dermatitis for children and adolescents is one from the German group, uh, from Doris Staub and collaborators in 2006, where they describe a study uh, where they organize group sessions of standardized intervention for atopic dermatitis once weekly for six weeks. 
and almost a thousand patients were enrolled. Uh, there was a multidisciplinary team leading the study, composed by physicians, psychologists, nurses, and dietitians, and it was age-related. And what the study adds for our knowledge, uh, the first point is that age-related educational programs improve the long-term management of atopic dermatitis, and both parents of affected young children and adolescents reported reduced severity of eczema and improved quality of life. And now is TPE uh, in terms of global assessment. Do we have TPE in other parts of the world? Yes. Uh, Stalder and collaborators published in the Pediatric Dermatology Journal in 2013 a questionnaire that was applied in 11 countries to characterize what type of educational approaches were utilized uh, in the world according to the centers. And we have here a very heterogeneous panel showing that in most of the programs, there was a combined either individual and collective approach. The sessions were coordinated by a multidisciplinary team dermatologists and nurses or pediatricians. Uh, the session duration varied from 45 to 210 minutes and the number of sessions varied from one to eight. So it's still very heterogeneous. And what are the strategies for delivery? There are some initiatives that are important. So I would point out top one, the home, the harmonizing outcome measures for eczema. Uh, and it involves uh, doctors, patients, the industry, and they are searching for a harmonization of these measures. Uh, the second point is the atopic dermatitis associations. I believe that they are great facilitators, especially in order to access uh, to scientific information and TPE is already present in most of the consensus that we published for AD treatment. And because AD is a disease of high prevalence, high cost, and impacts on quality of life, the awareness of medical students and healthcare providers are essential. This is only an example we have here in Brazil. We have uh, the Brazilian Association for Atopic Dermatitis established in 1997 in Sao Paulo, Brazil, by Dr. Takaoka here. And it has already 11 affiliated groups. And this is an overview of uh, our site where we have some live sessions, YouTube, educational sessions with different topics, for instance, this one, uh, enhancing the sleep problems, support groups, there are the main core of the support groups. Uh, now with the pandemic, we have virtual meetings and the association is always linked to the national campaigns for eczema. We have some publications of our groups. Uh, the last one here is uh, regarding the educational intervention and AD impacting on quality of life and treatment. Uh, we have also uh, publications that enhance the support groups leading to improvement of providers and quality of life of children with atopic dermatitis and their families, and some different methods for education approach of patients and caregivers, and for instance, uh, design thinking. So these are some examples that an association can mediate and help uh, the information regarding atopic dermatitis. And I pointed out that awareness of the young physicians and also medical students is really important to the knowledge of the disease. And I'll finish the presentation showing a video of one of our interns expressing his opinion about atopic dermatitis. Thank you very much and we'll be open for discussion later. Hello, my name is Luis. I'm 23 years old. I am a fifth grade med student and I'm here today to talk about my learning and my feelings about atopic dermatitis. 
um, I think sometimes it's hard to control the disease and that it would be hard to accept uh, for the patients uh, they have uh, physical and psychological complaints and concerns and maybe I can't figure out how difficult it might be but in the future I will always do my best for the patient. Thank you.